So it's the 20th of August and about 12 hours ago I got out of my left shoulder ladder J procedure which is a left shoulder reconstruction and as you can see here I've got my ice pack on my gigantic band-aid which is hiding the eight or ten stitches that are in there and then I've got my I'm in mean my sling so I've got a little bit of movement in my hand which is great the kind of numbness has been wearing off over the last six hours and um pain is um relatively low obviously I'm kind of loaded up on some um medications at the moment which is going to probably be reflected in this video but I'm sure you guys will understand um overall the experience was as good as a surgery could be I came in they um they checked me in shaved half my chest hair off which will take a little while to recover um one put my catheter in which was relatively painless. Um, then the the um, surgeon kind of explained that they'll inject some happy liquid into here and then I would feel like I've had maybe five shots in the space of two or three minutes, um, which I haven't felt for a while, so that definitely knocked me for six. Um, and then they proceeded to put um, injections in my on my left side around my neck and my shoulder which would numb this entire left side for the surgery wheeled me in you see all the bright lights all the assistants and the nurses around it's quite daunting to be honest I started um, everyone was friendly though I started a bit of um, chat with the um, with the surgeon and he was I um, I tried to convince him to give me a haircut while I was under because being in this lockdown I haven't been able to get to the hairdresser for eight weeks, but anyway, he thought that was funny and that kind of relaxed the whole atmosphere. And next minute, um, I was out. I was out of the game. So woke up, not really knowing where I was, but slowly kind of um, got back in the game, I guess you could say. And then I've just been kind of hanging out, watching hospital television and eating food. So um everything went really well I guess I should explain the purpose of this um of this vlog I couldn't really find anything online from anyone who's been through the um shoulder reconstruction process and um and rehab like someone personally doing it so I thought I could be the person to kind of fill that void um a bit of history on my left shoulder I had I've had a lot of issues with it growing up playing rugby league I would constantly have subluxation events, so eventually I bit the bullet and got the um, got the keyhole surgery. Unfortunately, um, that didn't hold. Um, I continue to have the subluxation events over the last probably eight eight to ten years, doing everything from snowboard and surfing, um, rugby league, golf, all the things that are unfortunately really um, susceptible to shoulder dislocations. And um, and so now I bit the bullet and got the ladder show done. So I found online a eight week peer reviewed article. So a peer reviewed article which shows an AFL player who returned to sport after eight weeks of the ladder show procedure. Who he also got it on his left side as well. Whether that means anything, I'm not sure. But um, I'm going to try to follow his rehab rehab plan and kind of kick the goals that he kicked over those eight weeks and um obviously i'm not returning to professional sport but i'm going to keep you guys updated as to what i can and can't do and the progress of my shoulder and hopefully that can um help anyone else who's going through the same thing or considering getting the surgery because um it's a big decision and um and one that should not be taken lightly and and if you have any um if you have any questions please um yeah, leave a comment below and I'll try to answer it. And um, yeah, I appreciate you guys following me on this journey and hopefully we can get back to um, get back to some kind of activity in eight weeks and, and stay sane. Thanks, guys. Bye.